session. Game one had the Powder River Hawks against the Malta Mustangs. Malta a bit of a surprise coming into this tournament with a 15 and 10 overall record, but they proved to be tough opposition for the 20 and 6 Hawks from Broadus will pick this one up early in the first half. Broadus did take the lead in the first quarter as Kevin Samuelson got things going. He led all scores in tonight's game with 22 points. Samuelson with the good defense steals the inbounds pass finds Eric Stevens and Stevens the length of the court 4-2 and that put Broadus up by two. Back came Malta midway through the second quarter. Bill Hansen the shot the bucket the foul three point play Hansen with 13. Then it's Styles at the buzzer to end the first quarter, 14 to 12, the Mustangs by two after one. Let's go to the second half now. In the fourth quarter, T.J. Watson uh, countering for the Mustangs. They led by as many as 22. Samuelson tries to rally back Broadus. They got within 12, but no closer. Malta moves on to the semifinals. They win tonight's game over Broadus, 68 to 54. Well, for much of the season, the Columbus Cougars have been the state's top-ranked team until they lost last week in the divisional finals. To the Indians from Lodgegrass. Tonight it was Corvallis providing the opposition, and it would be Corvallis that would get out to the quick start against the Cougars in tonight's game. Lewis Jessup connects, tied at two. Then brother Leslie Jessup would finish it off. Corvallis with the two point lead. Columbus, though, answering back with a rush. Mark Hamilton from the right side. Then it's Hamilton with the steal. Can't get it to go, but Todd Kurtz is there for the follow up. Kurtz nails down uh, the bucket. Columbus building a nine point lead. Back came Corvallis again. Jim Lewis is going to tie the game. But Columbus are running away. They led by as many as 13 in the second quarter. Hamilton hits. They go on to win it over the Devils from Corvallis, 89-70. to 70. So they will meet Malta in one half of the semifinal draw. Now, earlier today, the Lodgegrass Indians made it seven straight as they beat the Eagles from Fairfield, 77-46. to 46. An impressive offensive display for the Indians this afternoon. Let's go back to this one and bring you up to date on the afternoon sessions. Mike Jefferson with a pretty pass to D, pretty on top of 20 points. The Indians take the lead. Fairfield led by six points early in the second quarter as John Shank connects. Shank with five on the night and Clinker on the inside, giving Fairfield a 20 to 14 lead. But from there on out, it was all lodge grass to the second half now, and the Indians pour it on. Darrell, three irons inside, a nice move. Three irons with 14, and then the good defense. Lodge grass quick off the dribble from the steal to Dwayne Blacksmith. He finishes. And the Indians roll today, 77 to 46. They'll play Cutbank tomorrow night to wrap up the other semifinal pairing. Cutbank upsetting Troy today, 46 to 40. This
Park. Their opponent, the Wolves from Cutbank, who struggled during the regular season. This turned out to be a ball game that would go right down to the final seconds. We'll pick it up now, and Cutbank would take a surprisingly big 10-point lead midway through the first quarter in front of a big crowd tonight. Mark Jensen, the long three-pointer, Cutbank by 10, but then Lodgegrass goes on an 18-5 run. Randall Black Eagle starts it. Mike Jefferson had a big game. Jefferson connects. He finishes with 13. Ten of those points coming in the first half. Then it's Darrell, three irons. Three irons also with 13. 28-25. Lodgegrass by three. Let's go to the fourth quarter. Cut bank trails by seven. Gerald Lossing inside. Gets the bucket plus one of the foul. Lossing with 13. Lodgegrass stays on top. Jefferson with the steal. The left hand is good. 52 to 50 late in the ball game. But Cutbank would come back and tie the game. Larson hits. We're tied at 52. And then watch what happens on the inbounds pass. Jensen with the steal. He'll throw it up and can't get it to go. But Larson is there for the game winner. So the Wolves pull the stunning upset as they defeat Lodgegrass 54 to 52. They move into the championship game tomorrow night. Their opponents will be the Cougars from Columbus. Columbus tonight rolls over Malta in the second half of the semifinal draw. Let's go to the highlights from game two now. Between Columbus and Malta, the Cougars coming in with just one loss on the year with 24 victories. And there's the brain trust for the Cougars, Paul Barta, and the always dapper Timmy Walker. But it would be Malta striking first as uh, they get the long three-pointer. Back came the Cougars, Tom Kurtz in the lane. The pull-up jumper's good. Mark Hamilton gives Columbus an 11-5 lead midway through the first quarter, and then more of the same. Good defense by Greg Fitzgerald. Gets the strip, and then coast-to-coast -coast the other way for the layup. 16-5 at that point. Columbus off and running. Malta tries to rally. They go downtown on the three-pointer. That makes it a 16-9 ball game, but the Cougars answer right back. They work the give-and-go inside. Back to Hamilton. Spots up. He's got the three. Columbus goes to the title game as they win it over the Mustangs, 78-62. to They will play cut bank for the state Class B championship. Loser out games today.
A big disgrace, waving your banner all over the place.